Campfire and Meet Nobody. From where? TV Campfire Podcast. We basically talk about uh, different TV shows, like five to ten dramas a week, and we talk about the closer. Cool. So I'm going to... What do you say? <laughs> I basically... every Everyone we've had so far this season has been good. Okay. All good. Oh, man, the pressure's on. <laughs> yeah. So um, the thing I wrote up and my first question okay. is, yes. uh, your relationship with Brenda on the show has been fantastic as the whole series has gone. I've been watching from day one. And I, of course, I've been actually been a fan of the tension between Hope and Brenda and Fritz, and I like that whole uh, that's thing. That's an interesting dynamic. I, I love it. That, that's yeah, what yeah, I was tuning in for. That's an interesting for. dynamic. And this season, they've kind of like let it go for quite a while, but I feel like this season... Not necessarily the same kind of tension, but there's still a different kind of tension now coming in. Yeah, yo, absolutely. No, it, it definitely comes back. And it's layered with all that history of, you know, both, you know, they all three of them knew each other back on the East Coast before it all started back in you know, Washington days. Hope and Brenda Lee and Fritz, all knew each other. And so there's a deep, deep history. There. And yeah, that, uh, you know, there, there's many scenes coming up where, you know, Brenda Lee would say, you know, don't like that. You just don't like Pope or something. You know, so call on the history, and I'll be. It has nothing to do with that. You know, yes, that's part of it. But, but also, I believe that you know he's acting this way because blah blah blah. So there's um, it's a thick, complicated relationship with history, which is nice. It's nice to play. So it would be interesting, I guess. Where do you see your character kind of? Closing out, I guess, this season. Like if no you pun are, intended. Be, yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mean that. So, where do you want to see your character go? Um, I, I, I want Fritz and Brenda to be. I think they're going to go through a lot, of, a lot of challenges, but at the end of the day, I think they uh, take care of each other. And the um, last episode that we just saw, you had, there was this really great scene where you got your subpoena and you ask her straight up, did you do it? And she, she lies to you, but then she breaks down. So my question from your character perspective, what does that mean? Where, what do you, what's your character thinking in that moment? Well, I, you know, that's a really interesting moment. I'm glad you brought that up. That was a, uh, you know, we did that, t- that scene a lot of different ways. Yeah. You know, sometimes they would say, like, well, you got to be, you know, you know it's got to be very supportive and supportive. I'm like, wait a minute, I can be supportive, but I can also, you know, she's fine. Like, you know, I can know, you know, I can have my own debt. So it doesn't mean that you don't support somebody. You can, also, you can support somebody and know that they've done something in your estimation is wrong. And uh, in some ways, that's even more profound kind of um, But, yeah, it's complicated. It's gray. It's not... I mean, I, I love that moment because, you know, at the end of the day, he loves this woman. And, uh, but a lot of things about her upset him, too. And he has to wrestle with that. One last question. What, is, what do you think of the progression of your character from season one to now, as far as kind of being a... Kind of a pushover at the beginning. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, there's no easy way to say that. I don't know. I'm mean, no, always like, like, "Come on, great. man, yeah. Fritz got to stand up. Yeah, yeah. puts up with too much crap." So this thing. Um, well, yeah. I think uh, I like the fact that he has been very steady and been very, you know, moments where things flare up, but he's been a real sort of rock and a storm in a way. And, uh, which I appreciate. Yeah, I, it's I been know. really interesting just having this length of time to it's hard, really tough time. develop yeah. something like this. To really, be, to really build slowly this relationship. It's really um, good. It is, I mean, it's tough. Been, you know, it's like, been doing this for over 100 episodes. You know? It's got to be, uh, like, you can imagine like a 100 hour movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, to take that kind of time you know, to, to, to make this relationship. Um, I, I think it's, uh, I've lost your question, what, what do I feel about it? Yeah, as a progression, um, because I think your character's become stronger. No, I think so, no, I think so, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, it's, I always, early on, I kind of made this decision to look at the, the relationship in terms of, uh, you know, two, two addicts, one in recovery, one in denial, you know, and... That dynamic is really interesting because their 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 weaknesses bring them together and their strengths keep them together. Um, and there's 
there's friction and uh, I mean it's complicated. It's it's, it's uh, I, I think it's been really fun to explore. There's no easy answers. It's not like cut and dry. I like that. And, and I like the fact that the writers are willing to explore that. And, uh, and sometimes it's nice just to have like one or two scenes. You just you get a flavor or something and let the audience think about like, what did that mean? What's that about? Like how did you know? Right. You don't say too much. You know? Don't you ever stop talking? <laughs> I'm just talking about not saying too much. <laughs> I've been going on and on about it. Thank you very much. Are you still wearing that tie? <laughs> I thought you got the hint. You should take it off. It's okay. It's all right. I understand.